video, the single independent school owners systems manifesto. All right. I want to cover just about every single system that you need in your school. I want to actually demystify the whole notion of systems. See what happens in our industry when people talk about systems. What they do is they they use the tired analogy. Um, and I know we all hate it, the McDonald's analogy. They say, you know, look at McDonald's. Look how, and, you know, this has been done so many times by so many different gurus, even out, especially outside of the martial arts industry. They, they, they take McDonald's, and to people who've never heard the idea of systems, they say, look at McDonald's. It's the most, uh, you know, successful franchise in the world. It runs on systems, and it runs, the systems are so strong that teenagers that can't keep their room clean can run a McDonald's. Now, I know we all hate <laughs> that analogy because we've heard it uh, you know, all the time. We heard that McDojo, right, where it's just about serving up fast belts. And I know that's not what you're about. That's not what I was about in my school, about serving up fast belts. But what I did discover along the way through a lot of trial and error, trial and error 11 years on the, in the trenches, I discovered that there's a, a few different kinds of systems. Okay, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. And I want to let you know that this is going to be one of the longest videos that I've ever put together. Picture this as being at a live seminar, but in the comfort, comfort of your own home, in front of your desktop or in front of your laptop, uh, watching this on your terms. Now, it's going to go for a little bit because I'm going to cover a lot of ground. And I want to just encourage you to say, listen, if you get interrupted, pause the video and come back to it. If for some reason, you know, you have to watch it two or three times uh, through, Please do, because like I said, it's going to be like a mini seminar that you're getting totally for free. Like I said, it's one of the most content-rich videos I've ever put together for you. You know that a lot of times my videos are five minutes. Uh, they're a little bit of a tease in, in many cases with a little bit of information, because uh, frankly, I really don't agree with the free line of information on the Internet. I think it's, it clouds a lot of people's judgment. They say, oh, I can just subscribe to this blog or I can get this guy's emails, whether it's me or somebody else, and I can learn all this great stuff about how to operate my school. That is very deadly because a lot of times the information is useful, but it's very incomplete. And, you know, it's true. You know, you sometimes have to pay to play, and we're all here to make a living as well. But anyway, to get off that, and let's talk about, let's talk about systems, okay? And let's talk about systems as they apply to your school. The martial arts world is one of the, the toughest places to apply systems. And in fact, any business that is single independent and relies on like the personality of the person who's delivering the service is one of the most difficult, the service business or one of the most difficult businesses to ever uh, to, to put systems in place. Now, how do I know this? I work with a lot of service businesses. In fact, I don't just work with martial arts school owners now. In our internet marketing programs, we work with a diverse base of clients, all the way from architects to real estate developers to flooring uh, in, installers. So just keep that in mind. But I want this is going to be for martial arts because that's where my roots are and I still work with dozens of martial arts schools on a very high level helping them implement these kind of systems that we're going to talk about. But anyway, let's talk about systems and let's bust the myth. And again, we're talking about the single independent school owner systems manifesto. Alright, so when we look at systems, there's two kinds of systems, right? There's going to be uh, operational, just put op because my handwriting is really horrible, so it's going to be operational, right, and then there's going to be, uh, probably three, right, there's going to be sales, right, we'll talk about these two for now, two for now, there's operational and there's sales. Let's talk about operational, because these are, these are pretty much, they're important, but in the grand scheme of things, they're almost the least important. Once you get them in place, You'll make some adjustments, you'll make some tweaks, but for the most part, once you get these in place, you probably shouldn't really dwell and put too much uh, uh, brain effort into them once they're in place. So an operational system would be, you know, how you, um, you know, how you teach, right? A teaching would be an operational system, right? You know, whether you use a rotating curriculum or whether you, you know, what style you teach, that's an operating system, okay? Now, that's going to be proprietary to all of us, unless you're following some cookie-cutter curriculum, and that's, that's up to you. But so a teaching system would be operational. Now, of course, if for some reason your teaching system stops delivering results to your students, it stop, you know, people are quitting at a certain belt level, you really need to figure out what's going on with your teaching system. Of course, always be open to new ideas different drills, different methodology, psychology, 
changing, if you're working with kids, you've got to understand the changing landscape and trends that parents are going through. Parents are busier than ever now, right? Parents are more inclined to let their, their kids quit now than ever before. Why? Because we're all got the, because especially here in the United States, everybody just wants to be happy. <laughs> we want this euphoric place to live in, which again, you know, again, don't fight the trends. But you have to figure out how to match your teaching system. Not saying you've got to sell out, but you've got to figure out how to match your teaching system to trends that you see. So that's going to be, you know, I, I try to be a visionary for our clients. So to study the publications, to see what new trends are out there, and see where the world is going. I do that research for our clients so they don't have to. But again, I encourage you to, to do it on your own so you can adjust your teaching systems, one of your operational systems, you adjust your teaching system to, cha to changing trends. All right, we'll get off of that, okay? Then you have little things. You know, you have, um, what, how you take attendance, whether you use uh, a whiz-bang uh, software program that costs you more time to figure it out than it's worth, <laughs> that's up to you, or whether you just use plain old simple attendance cards, right? That's, a, that's an operational system, all right? How you clean the bathroom, whether you clean it every day uh, at night or whether you clean it in the morning, uh, whether, which I recommend you do it at night so when you walk into your school the next day, everything's nice and fresh. Now, I don't recommend you do it, but you can find somebody to clean your bathroom. Heck, you can find somebody to go grocery shopping for you and fill your car with gas. I'm sure you can find somebody to clean your bathroom. And again, whether you vacuum or whether you clean the floors or whether you clean the mats at night or whether you do it in the morning, these are all operational systems, and you have to figure those out on your own. Of course, there's always recommendations, which, you know, of course, outsource. If you can get someone for six, seven bucks an hour, or even for free, don't, tell, don't say, I said this on record. But, you know, if you can find somebody to do it for you to help you out, great, go for it. Let them help you out. But that would be, again, an operational system. Just simple things of how you conceptualize your business. Those operational systems, besides your teaching systems, right, getting instructors to work for you and adapt to your teaching system, as far as operational goes, they're the hardest ones to duplicate, right? They're the hardest ones to get people to adapt to. But of course, if you home grow, you know, if you, your instructors are homegrown, then obviously it's a lot easier, but they're all going to have their personal preferences and their personalities. But again, your teaching system of your operational is the one you really have to stay the most in tune with and adjust after you get it in place. Again, rotating curriculum, how we split the belts, how long it takes to get black belt. I mean, these are all teaching systems. And then you, after that, your operational systems, you know, you know, mundane things, you know, cleaning, right, stuff like that. Just stupid things <laughs> that, of course, you need, they need, they're a cog in the wheel and they need to operate efficiently and someone needs to handle it. Now, going back, well, I'm going to spend a bit of time on that, going back to systems. When, when you think about systems for your business, what, what, is the, what is a system for? A system is so is to be duplicatable, replicatable, and that it can be implemented across your business 100%, no matter who does it. Now, when you can get your teaching system to the point where the same class is going to happen, whether you teach or somebody else, hey, now you're really, you're really on track, okay? You know, when your cleaning system is in place, uh, you know, when we, last school that I had, um, we had some, we cleaned it every day, we had people that cleaned it for us, but then we had somebody go in on the weekends and give it a, you know, a totally thorough clean. Every day it was clean, but just an example. But your systems, they ran without me, okay? That, I didn't have to worry about, once I got the cleaning system in place, whether it be hiring somebody to clean the windows or hiring somebody to, clean, you know, to do the vacuuming and clean the floor. And, and again, don't say, hey, uh, you know, I can't, you know, I'm not at that point yet. And I want to pause here for a second because some of you that are watching this, okay, you're going to hear things that you've heard before, right? Some of you may hear things you've never heard before. And you might say, oh, I'm just looking for the next new thing, all right? The new, the new stuff is coming, but here's what I guarantee. When we get to the sales, we get to the marketing systems, guess what? You may not hear anything new. You may hear something new. But what I guarantee you is the high percentage of all of you watching, you right there staring at your laptop or your desktop, the high percentage of you will not be implementing these systems that I'm going to talk about. And that's why you need to watch this whole video so you can understand how it all works together. All right. So operational systems, aside from your teaching system, you know, you really pay attention to that. Cleaning, little mundane things, attendance, you know, how your, uh, how your curriculum plays out, you know, that ties into teaching. 
the service side of your operational system, where it affects your students and your clients and your prospects, that's what you pay the most attention to and you maintain. All the rest of it, set it and forget it, right? Who's that? Uh, uh, Ron Papil, right? Set it and forget it. All right. So now you get into the next set of systems, which are sales systems. Okay, excuse me, I need something to drink. You have sales systems, okay? Now, for a lot of you, sales is a dirty word, and you need to put that out of your head. Uh, when I was 14, it's the first time I learned a phone script. When I was 14, it's the first time I learned to set someone up for an appointment to come in and try an introductory lesson. When I was 14, my, uh, the owner of the school where I trained, there was a bunch of us hanging out at the school. You know how it goes. You hang out at the school because you love it so much. And he shocked the school. He called, and you know, he, back then, you know, we didn't have call forwarding, or if, if, if we did have call forwarding, he wasn't aware of it. So he called the school, and I answered the phone because I wanted to answer the phone. And he shocked me. <laughs> I mean, he went through how much, you know, who, you know, uh, how much are classes, and uh, you know, is it for kids, and what's your schedule? He went through all that. And I got him all the way to the point of almost closing an intro for him. And then he said, ah, the gag's over. Mike, it's me, your instructor. By the way, good job. Okay? Now, that's, that's the culture I came up with. The, the school I trained at, they were business, business savvy. And I ended up taking over that school a few, I was, a few years after I did that first call, about four. Four years later, I ended up taking over that school as an owner. Anyway, so sales. You know, it can't be a game of chance. And a lot of you watching, you already know this. You know, what's going to happen when somebody makes the phone call, right? What's going to happen when a lead comes through the website? What's going to happen when you get a referral? What's going to happen when you have a special event and you have a bunch of prospects that came to that special event that now are, uh, have a favorable impression of you? What's going to happen when you go out in the community and beat the bushes and you do some sort of event or some sort of uh, program? What is the next step? Now, some of it will bleed over to marketing, but really that's a sales system, right? How you're going to get people to go from somewhat interested prospect to interested prospect to committed student. Now, beyond that, you know, your phone, you can easily duplicate a sales system. If you're just getting out of your head that someone has to be a master salesperson to get this, you don't. Now, of course, I tend to lean towards wanting to talk to people, wanting to uh, get someone to give me their credit card and, and, and join my programs and things like that. Some people are a little are adverse to that. I mean, some people get the wrong idea, and I think if you have the wrong idea about you know sitting down with somebody, taking them through an intro process, and asking them for money, you got to a find someone to do it for you, be careful, or b just suck it up and learn it. Okay, so the sales systems can be duplicatable with repetition. Okay, what I mean by that is someone coming in new to your operation, to your business, and the way you do things. I can take somebody with no martial arts experience, I don't pr prefer that, and I can teach them how to answer the phone, I can teach them how to do an intro, and I can teach them how to sign an agreement and enroll somebody. You should be able to do that. You should have a system that's so strong that someone doesn't have to even be trained in martial arts. I'm not recommending that you do it. Okay, don't get the wrong idea. I recommend that you, you know, people, all everybody lives the, mar you live the martial arts lifestyle in your school, but you should be able to take somebody with no martial arts experience and be able to train them on your sales system. Phone, intro, intro um, closing, intro one, intro two, whatever. Right? They should, now that's a sales system. The next part of the sales system, the most important, where a lot of people fall down. So you got the upfront. That's in my handwriting suck. You get the upfront sales system. And then you have the back, the back end. Now, of course, the back end is going to tie into teaching, right? But the upgrade system. Now, a lot of people have the wrong idea. They think their upgrade system is just a sales function, meaning, or they think it's just a teaching function. You see that squiggly, isn't it? So they think their upgrade system is either just a sales function or they think it's a teaching function or, uh, or a combination of both. So they think that... And I hope they think it's 50-50, right? <laughs> because if they think it's all sales, they're in trouble, right? Snake oil. If they think it's all teaching, they're in trouble because nothing's going to happen. It's got to be a combination of sales and teaching, but there's one other thing. 
All right, so it's kind of like 50, 50, 50 to add up to 150, right? I want you to know this video is very off the cuff. I did very little planning for it, but I think you'll appreciate uh, the, how the direction we go with it because it's totally from the heart, and I'm just channeling uh, these, these energetic thoughts to you. So you have your sales system, you have your and the upgrade system, which is a combination of sales and teaching, right? And it's also going to be a combination of marketing, which we'll get to. So the, the upgrade system, a lot of people just think, if I have good classes, and then I ask somebody to upgrade, they'll do it. Not totally true. For a certain percentage of your students that just start training with you, whether you now again, I don't say that, I don't I don't try to recommend any of our clients in our martial arts business system program that they must talk to people and get them upgraded after two weeks, or they must talk to people and get them upgraded after. A month, or they must, it has to be 60 days, or it has to be six months. The truth is, there is no exact number of when you can actually uh, talk to somebody about upgrading in your school. It's going to be when they're ready. So your teaching function, okay, will uh, get them there, and your sales function will convert them. But in between, in your upgrade system, there's going to be a marketing function. Okay? So part of your upgrade system will rely on marketing. Okay? Part of your upgrade system is going to rely on marketing. All right? So when you look at your, uh, when you look at your marketing function and, and how it ties into your upgrades, it's basically things that are in place that gently nudge someone not persuade them or not twist their arm, but gently nudge someone into the upgrade process. Okay, now it comes your teaching, your sales, and marketing. So your upgrades are a combination of three things. Sales, teaching, marketing. Now there's certain things that can happen from marketing. There's certain exercises you can do in class. There's certain letters that, you can, that can be sent at home. There's certain things that you can do at a certain time, which we're going to talk about, that produce someone who comes out the other end as an upgraded student. All right, so now, when you think about your, your, your systems, your operational, the most, you know, after you get the basic operational things, cleaning, stuff like that out of the way, the teaching one is the one you have to pay attention to, that, that falls under operational. Then you have your sales, upfront, phone calls, things like that, and then your upgrade system, and this is when we, when we start getting into realizing they're all going to turn... They're all going to tune into marketing, all right? So we're going to go through the marketing systems. And here's why we're going to go through the marketing systems. Again, I guarantee that some of you might say, because I know there's a lot of closed-minded individuals in our industry, they're going to say that, hey, I, I already knew that. And there's going to be some people that say, darn, i gotta have that. I got to have that marketing system in place. That's one I, I've never heard of before. And then there's going to be a lot of you that say, yeah, I'm aware of all that, but I'm just not doing it. Okay, so let's get to the marketing systems. All right. That was a mess, huh? Okay. So, marketing. Your independent school. Marketing your independent school. That's a bit horrible, isn't it? Marketing your independent school. Here's the truth. You need... Help. We all do. We all need help. I'm beyond help. No, we all need help. All right. So the thing, the truth of the matter is, when it comes to your uh, school's operational and your sales systems, none of them actually can take place unless the marketing systems are there. So nothing can take place unless the marketing systems are there. So a quick recap. Your sales system, teaching, right? I'm sorry, your sales systems for upfront, new people, and then you have your operational systems, which are your teaching and your, and your basic you know, cleaning and things like that. None of them will work unless you have the marketing in place to support it, to feed it. Then you might say, okay, now, now you're going to get into marketing system. That's what I really need to know. I need to understand how to generate interest for my school. Now, what is marketing? Okay. Marketing is simply what you do 
to generate interest for your business. What you do to get people to call you, what you do to get people to come into your school, what you do to stimulate referrals. Now, some of these marketing systems have to be, there's two kinds of marketing, right? Some have to be done by you, and others can be done with you, slash for you. Now, again, I always try to be careful with the whole done for you type approach, because I know it's a very, it's a big buzzword. But yes, the truth is it's really done with you. Because you're ultimately responsible for building your business, nobody else. If you can get help with it, but in terms of anybody actually going to build your business for you, not totally reality. If I say, hey, I have a, a marketing material, a marketing piece that's already done, done for you, all you can do is drop in your information. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, I got a done for you marketing piece. That's the truth. But really, I did it with you because if you have to take it and go put it out there, right? Does that make sense? Now, let's talk about done, uh, done by you. Done by you marketing systems would be what? Throw them out there, right? Special events, you know, PR, that's a done by you. I could give you tools for special events. I could uh, give, you the pro give you the media pitch uh, for the PR. So it's kind of done uh, for you. I can give you a bunch of ideas for the special events. I can give you the flyers. I can give you the media pitch for the PR and how to get on TV. But really, you actually have to go do it. You know, then you have the what community involvement, right? Where you're out there, you're maybe, maybe you're doing fundraisers, raising money for charities, which is a good thing. You're getting maybe getting some students off of it. Uh, maybe you're out there working in different organizations uh, and getting some students because of that. But they're really they're done by you. You have to go do them. You just have to be made aware of what they are. You know, I mean, here's a great example. And you all, then you have to be aware of how to get the most out of them. I'll give you two examples. You know, for a while, you know, 10 years ago, everybody talked about, you know, school talk, school talk, school talks. You've got to get into schools and do school talk if you run a kid's school. Well, great. Everybody went out and they did school talks and the strange thing happened. Nothing. Meaning they felt good. They got up there and, and spoke. They, got, they touched a lot of kids, which was great. But when it came to how many people actually came back into their school, nothing really happened. Nobody came in. They didn't get any contact information. So when it comes to these done-by-you type things, these concepts, right, special events, school talks, birthday parties, uh, women's self-defense, you know, men, uh, we, did, we did something called like a bodyguard program, you know, making the, the father the protector of his family. These are all great concepts and they can be easily done, but you need to have the systems on the back end and the front end to actually uh, convert those. Now, a lot of times that comes from your own knowledge. That comes from you watching how somebody else actually took, you know, 20 leads that came from a birthday party and converted four the next week uh, to, to students. They, how, you know, they took 15 uh, women that came to a self-defense course and they got three of them to enroll in the long-term program. Again, you know, these things, these activities are a dime a dozen. How you actually get people on the back end to actually enroll that's the system part. That's the marketing part. Right? But a lot, you have marketing, you have done by you. We can just give you the concepts, but you ultimately have to do them. All right, then kind of done with you and done for you. Let's think about this. Done with you would be what? Your website, you know, your internet marketing. You know, this can be done with you. Email marketing. and direct mail. This can all be done with you. Okay? This can all be done with you. So let's talk about that for a second and we're going to close with talking about the, the, the systems that you absolutely must have in your school. But let's talk about marketing systems right now that are done with you slash for you. Okay? Marketing systems that are done with you slash for you. Well, your website. Something that we do, of course, here in martial arts business system country, you know your website when it's uh, when it's optimized in the search engines. You maybe you have multi, you have multiple listings on the page one, which is really internet marketing. But let's just talk about your website. Your website looks good, it's professional, and it's a lead generating website, meaning it has what we call soft offers for information, and it has what we call complete offers, 
uh, to get someone's mobile phone number, their phone number, their physical address in exchange for something of value usually an offer. So your website can be done with you, all right? Then your internet marketing can be done with you and for you. The reason why I say with you is because, you know, a lot of people think they, they just want their internet marketing to be set it and forget it, and that could happen. You can have your website, you can have your internet marketing, you can have your email marketing, you can have your direct mail marketing. We, you can have all this, and I'll show you in a second. That can totally all be set it and forget. Okay? Because in my platinum program, here, let me show you an example. We have a basic website set up. Okay? And it's a lead generating website. Now, we have the internet marketing component, meaning we have the search engine optimization done. We have squeeze pages working, okay? So now we have that. Now, someone lands on the website, and they take you up on your offer, because we crafted the offer the right way to get someone to give you all their information, to say that they want to come in for a few weeks. Now, of course, if you get 10 of those people to say they want to come in for a couple weeks, or they want to take you up on your offer, not all of them are, you know, you're going to have to follow up by phone, you're going to follow up by email, you're going to follow by direct mail. And I'm going to show you the progression. So they go to your website. They, they click on, say your, say, your kids program. They like what they read. They like what they see. They like what they watch on a video or something like that. And they take you up on your offer. They punch their information in. Ten people do that. Well, if you're smart, you'll call you know, all ten right away. Of course, they're not all going to come you know, in at once. But just, let's just pretend that's the way it's going to work. So you'll call all ten right away. Maybe, if you're lucky, you'll get in touch with five because the other five just won't be available, okay? So those five, you know, five leads, pretty much will all make an appointment, okay? Now, will they all show up? Will all those five leads show up? No, all those five leads will not show up. So let's just say two of them don't, two, three of them enroll, and now they're taken out of this system, so they're, they're gone, they're taken out of the system. But then the other two are left in the system because they didn't show up for their intro. And same with the other five. Remember the other five that we couldn't get a hold of? The other five and the, other, and the two that didn't enroll are left in the system, or they didn't show up, are left in the system. And they get a combination of internet marketing and direct mail, meaning they get emails sent to them, right? Because they came on your website. Even though they haven't showed up for their intro, they still get email marketing for, say, the next 12 months. Even if they never contact you again. They, can all, they also get direct mail. So they get a letter that kind of restates your, your website. So meaning, you know, this letter, this is a page, page one of the letter, is almost verbatim some of the copy that's on the website. So now those two people that didn't show up and those five people that you couldn't get a hold of for whatever reason, now they are getting emails and they're getting letters. Now that's seven. Now out of those emails and out of those letters that go out and those sequences that, you know, they get a letter, this is just a printout, they get a postcard, okay? They now contact you. After they've got email two and they've gotten letter one and postcard two, out of those seven, say three of them, call you up and say, hey, I got your letter, I got your postcard, I want to come in and I want to do that, that offer. Okay, I know you called me. So you see how the system works? See, this is a done with you system, meaning the website's in place, the internet marketing's in place to generate the lead. They get the emails and they get the direct mail. And then they call you. Now we just took 10, 10 fictional prospects, right? So we took these 10 prospects and the over. We took the 10, 10 leads that were generated, three uh, came in and enrolled, let's put an E for enroll there, two no-shows, okay, so this is 10, so there's, and then there's five, and C, no contacts. So these three enrolled right away, we got three new enrollments out of our 10 leads, so that's seven left, and then we got out of these seven, we got another one, and then another two out of these guys. So we got another three out of these seven, which leads four. Now do you think six out of ten, I think that's very realistic. I hate these people that talk about, you know, 
10 leads that come, from, to come through your website or 10 leads that get referred to you, all of them are going to enroll. That's not the way it works. But if you're getting 6 out of 10 or something, these are realistic numbers. Now, will they change on a monthly basis? Yeah, they'll change on a monthly basis. Will not as many people respond to the direct mail piece at some point? Yeah, that's, a, that's true. But you ended up with, again, 6 enrollments because... You got in touch with three right away from your website, okay? And you're in touch with five, three enrolled. And then the other two were no-shows, so that's seven left. And then you've got the stragglers, okay? The stragglers coming in because of the emails that are going out and because of the direct mail that's going out. Now, here's the, here's the beauty of that. The beauty of that is you, you're saying to yourself, yes, I heard that before. i got to get my direct mail... You know, go out automatically. See, the way it works is you don't. Once this is set up for you, just take one component. Take your your web marketing system, right? Once your web marketing system is set up for you, you never have to worry about direct mail ever again. Okay, think about it. Well, maybe, right? But your website's set up. Your internet marketing's done. You know that the prospects that are fresh in your website are now going to get what you know you should be doing anyway. You know you should be following up with people. The problem is, most schools, when it comes to their web marketing, right, they either, they don't even have a way, this is a big mistake, they don't even have a way to generate these 10 leads. Forget about, you know, getting them in the door and forget about following up on them. Alright, and I'm going to show you how you can actually implement that in a second. So does that make sense? That's a done with you system. You can have your website, and then you can have it pr pr uh, plugged in to lead follow up email, not just email though, direct mail, and that can all happen without you touching it. You, you just select the pieces with us, with me. We select which ones are going to go out at day five, which ones are going to go out at day 15. And that's it. It's done with you slash for you, but now it's a, it's a marketing system that can now feed the rest of your business. Does that make sense? Like I said, listen to this over and over again because it's extremely eye-opening. And that's why I'm calling it the Independent School Owner System Manifesto. All right, now let's take another, one more example, okay? Let's say that I'm wasting a lot of paper here. And I think I'm going to go buy a big SUV. So the environmental people are going to hate me. No, just kidding. All right. So let's just say now, that's one system, the web marketing. But now let's just say special event. All right? Let's do the same example. A lot of people run special events. You're the people that say, oh, Mike, you know, I've heard that before. I've got to have created special events. I've got to promote them. I've got to do one different every month. I, you know, I came into your, your gold level program for a few months, and I see how you guys do it. I see how you vary the themes. You know, and then I quit for whatever reason. So I know what you're talking about, this, you know, this special event system that it has to be different every month. I have to have these themes, and I've got to encourage referrals. You're the people that are being closed-minded and saying, oh, I already heard that before. Now, some of you, it's new. New themes, special events, different way to get people in every month. That's brand new to you. But now let me tell you something I guarantee you're, you're probably a lot of you aren't doing, okay? You have a special event. And let's just say you got 20 um, referrals at that special event. You had 20 students and 20 referrals that came to that special event. Now, a lot of times, those slips sit there for a few days. Nothing happens. Or, finally, someone gets around to doing a data entry. And now they're just in a database somewhere. And maybe you'll call them Monday. Maybe you won't. But now, if you have a done-with-you system in place, let's call it the... WS, done with you system, <laughs> okay? If you have a done with you system in place, what you do now is you plug them into the done, done with you system. Right away, the special event person, because they filled out a slip, they filled out a permission slip to be there, which is very easy to do, or they registered online, which is very easy to do, and automatically they get an email that thanks them for being a guest and making them and reminding them of the special offer that you offered them at the special event before they left. And then they also get, you know, for the ones that don't show up to your special day or special offer, they can also get more email 
and then direct mail. See how that works? That can be applied to every system. So every marketing system that you put in place is based on relevancy. You get it? Relevancy meaning the person just went to your website. This is where the power is. The person just came to your special event. The person just called you. The person just didn't show up for their appointment. Everything is extremely relevant to what just happened. Let that sink in for a second. Once you start to hustle, because you got to hustle, to generate leads, once you start you know, implementing some of the done by you marketing systems with some help, once you have some of the done for you systems like internet marketing in place, now it's just a matter of putting leads into the funnel. Because now let's take those 10 leads and, you know, and a few that didn't show up or didn't sign up. Now those two no-shows, they can go into a, also, a no-show system. See how this works? So the two people that didn't show up go into the no-show system. And they get a relevant letter, they get a relevant email that says, Hey, you didn't show up. What happened? You see? Relevancy. Relevancy. How about the ones who come in and don't enroll? Well, they can get a why didn't you enroll <laughs> into a why didn't you enroll system, which can contain email and which can contain direct mail. Okay? Even the ones who I have it here. This is just an, this is an example of a letter. And it starts off, we're about ready to start. This is a no-show appointment, or even a it didn't roll. Uh, a short while back, you inquired about taking lessons at our martial arts academy. See how that starts off? This is a non-enrolled system. This can be done with email and with direct mail. And it can happen behind the scenes. All you do is press a couple buttons. All right, now let's talk about an internal marketing system. Now, I want to just give you an example. You have the, before I get to that, you have special events, you have web marketing systems, you have your special events, you have your no-shows, you have your non-enrolled. If you do an, the two-intro process, you have your intro one, intro two. You have a phone and walk-in system. Okay, a phone and walk-in system when someone actually walks in and makes an appointment or calls you and makes an appointment. There's a system for that. Okay, all in all, you're looking at about having 12 to 13 marketing and internal systems in place. Now, I'll show you this, let's talk about a big one real quick before we close. Okay, the upgrade system. Now, you did everything correct, meaning you had your special event follow-up system, you had your web marketing follow-up system, and you got some students in the door. You had your operational sales in place working, that system. You had your, uh, your new, and then you have your new student upgrade system in place. But you have all your marketing system right, which, right, which gives you the opportunity to now have a new student and put them into your upgrade system. Okay? When you have an upgrade system, it's based on just one thing, right? Getting people to go to the next step. Now, I don't like the totally square peg and round hole upgrade systems. Whenever I work with one of our Platinum clients, my goal is to figure out what they're comfortable with, with their upgrade system. I know what I was comfortable with, and I know what worked like a charm for me, but I know what works for other people, but I don't know what works for you and how you operate. So when it comes to your upgrade system, depending on how you are and how you operate your school is going to determine pretty much when you're going to talk to this person about upgrading. Okay? So your upgrade system is basically about Wowing in the beginning, making them feel welcome, information, and reminders. Okay, so let's talk about wowing in the beginning. There are certain things on, that you have to do. Now, technology can help us remind you. So, for instance, here's an example of a wow. A wow would be they go into your new student upgrade system and they automatically get sent your welcome letter. But another part of the wow, which is human, is there's a reminder to the program director 
to send them a thank you card, personal, that's uh, to them. Okay, so that would be an example of wow, a reminder to the program director, the welcome letter can go out on automatically. Okay, so that's an example of wow. Okay, now you have uh, information. You know, so you're putting information in their hands about setting them up uh, for success. Maybe that's your new student packet. It can also be a series of emails that go out, you know, giving them a heads up on what to expect. Okay, that's information, example. Okay, so then you have, okay, reminders. Okay, now in between all this, while this happens, your reminders are, hey, program director, you know, how many of you, you know, they, they, how many of you had such great ambitions to do your two, four, six, eight, ten calls or whatever, and then they just, you know, just fell apart because you just couldn't get it implemented, you couldn't get it done, you lost track, the system wasn't right. Well, we can remind that program director through technology, right? We can remind them to make that call in two weeks. That program director can get an email that says, hey, Joe, call Mrs. Jones and Mr. Jones and check up on little Billy. Or call that adult student who enrolled and see how he's doing after two weeks. That's an example of you remind, use technology to help the human beings. All right, now that can all be done for you. All right, now also, how many of you want to do good job notes every day? Not a lot of people are disciplined to do it, unfortunately. I remember you know, my first business partner, we got gung-ho on good job notes 15 years ago or so. And unfortunately, the same students kept getting good job notes. Not the way to go. But there could be a reminder sent that, hey, you know, Johnny's been training for 30 days or 21 days or 15 days, whatever's comfortable for you, or that adult student who's also seeking recognition has been training, has been training for two or three weeks. Let that go in the email reminder to this person, the instructor, the program director, actually preferably the instructor, and let them sit there and take a mental picture of that student and say, yeah, what can I compliment little Billy on? What can I compliment Mr. Uh, Smith on? Now let's do that good job note and delete this email because it's done. Does that make sense? So you use the systems to help uh, the human element, right? So now you have reminders, and now you also have, you know, little setup type things. Okay, here's what I mean. This is the front page of a letter that's designed to just paint the picture of black belt. This is this is we have one for kids, one for adults, but it's not. It doesn't sell anything. Okay, it doesn't. Uh, you know, say you get, you know, you get a special deal for doing upgrade. It just goes out at a certain time and helps paint the picture of what it's like to become a black belt. Maybe there's, there's some testimonials in here from your school, but it goes out at a certain time after they enroll and they're now getting into your upgrade funnel and system. And this is all part of it. This is more of the information side, paints the picture of how wonderful black belt is, and then you get the final reminder that tells you, based on your comfort level, hey, they've been training, uh, you know, for uh, for three weeks, and they've been training for four weeks, and been training for six weeks, whatever is comfortable for you that we determine, and you know that that's your cue to schedule a time to sit down with them and talk to them, and that's an example of the technology and the human element that we can never get rid of in this business working together. So all this can be done behind the scenes. And then all you have to do is follow the reminders and you will have a powerful upgrade system. So when you think about your school, you think about you know, your operational systems, you think about your marketing systems, you think about coordinating email and direct mail, I mean, whether it be for adults or kids, whether it be for people who don't show up, for people who don't enroll, for people, even lost students. All this can be set up for you behind the scenes where all you or your staff goes if you can type on a keyboard, you can get this to work for you. All in all, in our Business System Platinum program, to help you actually implement this stuff and to kind of and to be there for you every step of the way, to keep your program directors on track of who they got to send call, who they got to make calls to, to keep your instructors on track and who they have to send good job notes to, to get solid upgrades that are almost coming to you as opposed to you chasing them, to look at that as ten leads that come into the website and to know that all ten are being followed up on. That all 10 are getting your direct mail. Stop feeling guilty about the fact that you're not getting your marketing done because it seems too overwhelming. To be able to set this up for you and have it actually work behind the scenes with a little bit of done, I'm not going to lie, a lot of done by you effort working hand in hand with the support structure to get the done by you things on track and to have the done for you slash with you things working for you to where all you have to do is press a few buttons 
That's what our Business System Platinum Program is all about. And if you're interested in the Business System Platinum Program, there's going to be a couple options here. One option is you could get started right away. The other option is you can fill out a form uh, below us uh, to, to request an interview to see if uh, this is a good thing for you and if you're the right fit for us. Uh, I don't recommend you join our Business System Platinum Program if you're struggling or if you know, uh, you're going to pay us and not feed your family. That's not who this is for. It's for people that understand the power of getting help to get to the next level. So people who understand that they heard all this stuff, but now they want to actually get it implemented. They want to be able to have system systems, it's gone, systems that run without them. Systems that happen whether they're there or not. Systems they can train their staff on, that you can press a few buttons and make happen. Some of it is done with you, and by, some of it is done by you, some of it is done with you, and some of it is done for you. That's the reality of the situation. All of it can happen behind the scenes. Uh, again, it's our business system platinum program. We are opening it up to a few more spots. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to get help implementing all this and actually getting your school rocking, I recommend that you, uh, you take some sort of action. Even if it's just uh, 